Good afternoon and welcome to Morning Meets the Eye. I'm your host, Blind Prime, and for today we're going to cover some G1 stuff. Yeah, I've got the, um, well, almost G1 stuff. I've got the majority of the G1 Dinobots plus G2 Grimlock. Uh, G2 Grimlock was one of my first Transformers I ever owned, next to the OG Optimus Prime and Ultra Magnus. Sadly, uh, in my childhood, somebody stole those two, which is really sad. And I, they, I've always missed him. I love my Ultra Magnus. He was so cool. But, uh, later on in life, I've managed to acquire other Transformers, but it all started with Grimlock here. And Grimlock is... Oh, man... I put him in a box to store him just recently. Like, he was sitting on a shelf nice and pretty. When I took him out of the box, the guy no longer stands upright. I've got to tighten the screws in his legs. And uh, his head is his head is coming off because somehow there's now a crack in the uh, in the thing that holds it onto uh, that little hinge behind him. Uh, it's kind of sad, and he just likes to tumble around and, and lay about. He's uh... But then again, you know, this guy is 30 years of hard play like, look at that. this the, half of his tail is missing back there his all of his limbs are loose this guy's this guy's been played with i mean i, I, I chewed on some of his arms whenever i was a kid he's got paint missing he definitely has got stickers missing this dude went everywhere with me that was my grimlock and uh then later on in life i got other things and uh so we and I ended up getting the entire Dinobot team in various conditions. Uh, so just Grimlock here. We're gonna just quickly transform him because he didn't take much to transform. Um, very worried about this top section here. I'm gonna flip it back and hopefully it doesn't break anything. Cool. Then we're just gonna flip these sides to the sides, revealing the head. Then we're going to pop this piece up here. And then we're going to move these pieces on the other side of the Hey, hey, hey. Don't you get con construed and confused there, you 30 year old toy. I don't need to be breaking you. Just put that piece there. Carefully move this piece here. Down there. And then we're just going to pick the leg up. We're going to pick the leg up. And we're going to slide that piece down. Okay, now we're going to pick the leg up. Come on, come on. Do it. Man, you, you're just, you're just not wanting to, uh, to do anything today. Okay, let's pick this leg up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I gotta, I gotta move that joint without breaking anything. Come on. There it goes. Aha, uh -huh, there we are. Cool. Had to use my thumbnail in there to make sure that joint separated properly. And there's Grimlock. Grimlock was an easier enough guy to transport. Oh, I forgot. You gotta push his, uh, his, his up to reveal his hand and then the same with this side push that up to reveal his arm there we go grimlock very 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 fragile old man transformer let's set him down right here so that he can be out of the way because he is the most fragile one in my collection because i did play with him hard uh, another before we get in any more i have got a small story to share with you this is my megatron this is my Megatron. I think I have him transformed correctly. I'm not 100% sure on that. It's a, uh, he's, he's got some missing pieces and some parts of him are broken. Uh, this is Megatron as best as I think I'll ever get a Megatron. Um, I didn't realize he had such a, a, a large protrusion sticking out from the front of him. And I have no way to get that down. That's just weird that he has such a large protrusion. That wasn't in the show. He didn't have... He didn't have something sticking out of his crotch that's that long in the show. Uh, actually, I don't ever think he had anything sticking out of his crotch in the show. It's just weird. But, you know, as, uh, as G1s go, he's he's not that bad. But uh, he does have very little posability, and he's barely a robot. And that, that piece right there. Uh, anyway, fun story about this Megatron. So my brother, years ago, was running a flea market booth. And during the day, at some point in the day, this little guy ended up on his, um, on his, uh, his table. He just, he, it was there one, you know, it was just a toy gun. Like, so it's a half 
destroyed toy gun that was just sitting on his table all of a sudden. He, he turned around, it wasn't there, he turned back around, and it was there. And he couldn't figure out for the life of him what it was. And he was like, it's a really nice toy gun, but I just can't figure anything out about it. And I was like, well, let me see. And I proceeded to play with it for a bit, because I saw, you know, this is back whenever I had vision, and I saw that it had a Decepticon symbol on it. And I went, wait a minute, there's something weird about this guy. Let me see what's going on. So I fiddled with him, and I transformed him. And he is not the easiest in the world to completely transform. But he definitely has his own bonuses. Um, and I also, like, I just was so amazed by the fact that this is a freaking pistol that transforms. And it does it in a very weird way that I approve of. I really do. Um... And I do understand why so many people want more Megatron as the gun, even though we're never going to get that. Because honestly, this was an excellent, excellent gun. It was a really good one. And the transformation for this guy isn't bad either. It's a lot of fun. It's a very interesting transformation, that's for sure. And uh, it took me a few minutes to figure it out. And then whenever I figured it out, I showed him, and he was like, what the, what, 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 what did you just discover? And I'm like, I, I think it's a Transformer, man. I don't think this is a, a toy gun at all. I mean, I think it is a toy gun, but it's also a Transformer. And, uh, I may have forgotten how to transform it in the span of Transformer. So that piece goes there, and you're going to come around here, and then you're going to go right there. Right like that, right? Okay, and then this piece is going to rotate around. Let's rotate it in the right way. Yep, that's the correct direction for that rotation. And then you're just going to... Well, what are you going to do here? Okay, okay. So, this piece goes like that. Yep. And then this piece is going to go here. It's going to spin around too, right? Hmm, just like that. There it is. Okay. Make sure we get that things lined up there. Let's get the back of the gun. It's so weird that it's a gun. It transforms. But it is a very fun gun that transforms. Uh, let's see. That piece goes there like that, right? No, something's, something's not quite right. No, wait, 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 wait. Everything's right. Everything's right. I'm not quite right. That's all. Uh, that's all lined up. And that's all lined up. And then for some reason, this side is longer than that side. Oh, because I forgot something. Oops. I got to push that piece down. <laughs> Now it lines up. Now it's good. All right. Now we slide that piece there like that. And that's going to snap into place very excellently. And, and, oh, it's so squeaky. Okay, squeaky, squeaky hinge. Squeaky hinge. Right, let's see. Uh, you needed to go up, don't you? Yeah, because you're, you need to come up here. And you need to become the back of this pistol here. So I'm just going to hold the head right there. Excellent. It's going to become the back area of the pistol, okay, and then that piece is going to come on that side, and that piece is going to come on that side, and then we're just going to collapse the legs together, and we got ourselves a little gun. Isn't that neat? It even makes the noise. I love it. I love that it makes the noise. It's, it's a very fun little little thing. But, you know, it doesn't even really count as a real gun anymore because half the front's been ripped off. I don't even know who did that or why, but uh, there's obvious the spot there that, that's either sheared away or just been missing. I don't know, but I've always enjoyed having a G1 Megatron in my collection. And honestly, like, it, it's weighted so perfectly for your hand. It's definitely, yeah, that's not, that's not cool, but at the same time, it is cool. You know what I mean? Um, we're going to set Megatron off to the side. Now let's talk about the rest of the Dinobots. I just wanted to bring up Megatron because I was like, ah, this has got a fun story. So yeah, to finish that story up, me, uh, you know, I picked it up. I picked up this little gun that my brother brought in. It was on the counter. I grabbed it. I played with it a bit. I did this thing. And then I went, wait a minute, there's a seal here and it's really heavy for some reason. What is this thing? And I fiddled with it. I found the, the feet at the bottom that you can push in. And then, uh, I just got, I, I realized the weight, if there's feet, then that means this is a transformer. And if this is a silver gun, there's only one transformer it can be. And uh, so I took it. I was like, hey, can I just have this? And sure, I don't, I didn't pay for it. I don't care. And so I took it and I loved it and I've always taken care of it. And this is Swoop. 
Swoop was a, was a gift from my brother. He got a bunch of Dinobots in, and uh, Swoop doesn't have a head. Swoop is missing his, uh, his dinosaur head. Uh, I think he's got his regular head. But then again, I'm not exactly sure. I don't go around transforming Swoop very often. But uh, Swoop is actually pretty pretty fun to transform. Anyway, if, even if I don't do it often enough, it's it's not... He's not the hardest transformer in the world to transform. He's more on the simpler side. And uh, it's a shame that... I don't know what happened to his... Uh, to his leg. I mean, his head. It just came broken. That's all. And then the head was supposed to fold down into that section that we just unfailed. There we go. And then other head was supposed to be somewhere. I think it was supposed to be hiding in amongst the head that folded down. Um, sadly, that's it. Like if, uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. What is that? Is that his head? Or is that just more of the stuff that's broken? I think that's just more of the stuff. That's... Oh, it's a little wheel. Why does he have landing gear? He's a dinosaur. Oh, well. Um, so I just discovered that. I've owned this toy for probably 10 years, and uh, I never knew it had freaking landing gear hiding in there. Yeah, it's cool. Um, that, that, that's, like, really weird and really awesome. Uh, these older toys, man. These older toys. So, yeah, that's him transformed. Uh, my headless swoop with very terrible knees. I don't know why they gave a transformer with so much cat, uh, so much uh, iron in the um, in his core, but his legs are just just stupid weak. So even it doesn't matter, he's always going to fall over. So that's why I just always have him transform in his uh, in his vehicle mode here or his dino mode. Uh, Let's go ahead and get that landing strip out there. Where is that thing? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Get, 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 come here. Come here, you. We're just going to pull you out from now on. Because that's I didn't know that existed. And I am very happy now. So let's just pull that piece out and set it there. We're going to close everything up. And now it's stuck outside. That's cool. Also slightly annoying if you forget about it. Let's close up these, these feet. And then make sure the wings are spread out. And let's go ahead and close all that stuff back in there. And then we can bring the feet up. And we can reveal those landing bits, plus that landing bit gives us a nice little uh, little tripod feature going on there. Isn't that neat? So, that's Swoop. Swoop is the widest of the Dinobots because of his wings. Uh, uh, yeah. My, my busted up Chief One collection. Say, so, I have not been able to find many mint... <clears throat> G1 stuff as I've grown up. When I've come across the more or less mint stuff, I've then definitely tried to keep it in its minty condition. Like like Sludge here. Sludge I've tried to keep in his uh, minty condition. But uh, he's, he's the long-necked dinosaur, and uh, he's always had some problems staying together. He's never enjoyed it. He's never liked it. But he is kind of a fun dude. Um, if you want me to do kind of a blind formers on these guys, let me know in the comments below, and I definitely will. But we are almost done talking about these dudes. All of these crazy freaking Transformers. All of these crazy old Transformers. And this thing right here came out in 84 or something. This is older than me. This is older than me by a few years. By three years, actually. You know, it's three years my senior. Oh, it's exactly as old as my cousin. Isn't that fun? Fun little news. Uh, there it goes. Yeah. I remember him being weird with his feet. You gotta make sure you did him right. There's a, sl there's a right way and multiple wrong ways. It'd be cool if there were multiple right ways to do something, but you know, it's very rarely two or three right ways to do something. Okay, now we just gotta get these parts separated from those parts to finish this transformation. And there it goes. That's part separated from that part. And hey, hey, hey. That part separated from that part. There we go. Okay, I'm going to fold these legs down. And they are incredibly loose. And then we fold this piece up, right? Yeah, there it goes. We fold those arms up. And so that we can fold the wings around. And then we fold the arms back down on the other side. And there we have Sludge. In his robot mode. Oh, wait. We almost forgot the typical thing we do for... Ah! Cream! 
you spook me. You can do for these guys, use your fingernails to try and pull this hinge apart, and it gets super sticky. It does not like to separate ever. It is one annoying hinge, and uh, this one's not doing it. He is not wanting his hinges to unhinge. Maybe we can get this side to do it. Maybe. I doubt it. Come on. Come on, you stupid hinge. Hinge. You know, do that thing. Do that thing you like to do. Mm. I don't want to break my thumbnail off. It seems like it's a little stuck. Maybe there's some old rust in there. Or maybe just dirt and dust. Uh, I'm going to have to clean this guy deeply before I can go around. Getting those unstuck. But there is his robot mode there. And we're going to set him off over here to the side. We'll grab these vehicles around really quick. We're going to set him down here. Yeah. If I can't get those hinges on his knees to do the thing. Now, we come across my favorite of the Dinobots, the G1 Dinobots, that is, and all the Dinobots, Snarl. Snarl's my man right here. He's a stegosaurus. When I was a kid, I saw this dinosaur, and I went, oh, well, he, you know, that, that doesn't make any sense. Why is he so nice? And, and, uh, and my mom was like, what do you mean? Why is he so nice? And I went, well, he's got all these plates that the uh, dinos can use when they... You know, when they eat, they can put the food on these plates that he has on his back. You know, he, he just brings plates to people. And uh, my mom thought that was kind of funny. I thought it was kind of funny later, too. And, yeah, these are actually armor, not plates. So that he can, you know, help everybody get their food or something. But uh, he's got one of the more complicated of the transformations. He is... One of the more complicated guys, which is surprising because he's not really that complicated of a character. But this transformation is definitely up there, and it's it's weird how, how that works sometimes, you know? And these, some of these transformations are really weird. Uh, like, they just straight up don't make any sense. And then others of them are, are completely, you know, you know, understandably, you're like, ah, I get it. This piece moves there like so, and so on and so forth. Yeah, come on. Come on, unhinge yourself. There you go. Whoa. Yeah. Got the wrong bar for me. We'll just go ahead and collapse that down. All right, so that piece is there like that. That's good. The head's folded down. These pieces are folded like they're supposed to be folded, or you can kind of fold them however you want. So let's get that. Do you do the stupid thing with your hips? No, no, you don't even have hip rotation or hip motion at all. You kind of are a little low on that end. Now this is his half-transformed state. I call it the tailocalypse. Yeah, yeah. Let me ask you, is this an elephant? You people know that. That's already becoming terrible. Uh, there's a little meme going around about this is an elephant. It's great. Uh, okay, so we're going to move that around to the front. And we'll move his other arm around here to the front. And uh, then these things are going to fold on either side. Just like so. This is, like I said, he's one of the more complicated transformers of this set. And I wish I still I had his accessory, but I don't think I do. And there's no accessory hiding anywhere on this thing's body. So, it is a bit sad that I don't have his accessory, which would have been really, really cool. Um, there's something going on with how this thing splits down the center. And let's forget how this works. Let's see. That piece is supposed to turn, right? Right? You're supposed to turn or something, aren't you? You're supposed to be. Why are, why are you like this? Huh? Why are you like this? Is that, is that a is that a turning spot down there? Is that a turning spot? Let's see. Okay, yeah, can it rotate? Can it rotate? It can move back and forth, but uh, yeah, I don't remember how that works. Let's see. Right down there. Okay. Is that it's supposed to fold up like that? Okay, okay. I see. So you're supposed to bring it down. Come on, come on, come on. And what is that hiding in there? Oh, is that your head? Yeah, that is your head. I found the head. Okay, cool. That's what was going on there. There we go. 
And then these pieces are supposed to kind of fold off on the other side and separate, but they don't want to. And, uh, you know, when it comes to things this old, whenever it doesn't want to do something, just, just don't even bother forcing it. It's an old guy, so he can have this thing just kind of hanging out there. Yeah, he's... This is a mohawk. <laughs> Epic mohawk action. Okay, uh, you can put it behind him. Uh, that is Snarl, one of my favorite Dinobots of all time, mainly because I I love his transformation. It's actually it's actually kind of a fun transformation, and it's a bit on the complicated side. And then finally, we've got Slag here. Ooh, Slag. Yeah. Oh, buddy. The British people changed your name to Slug, because apparently Slag means bad things in Britain. It's a slur. Here in America, slag just means that stuff you throw out after you're done doing stuff with iron or steel or just about anything. Heck, even even whenever I get uh, you know, things that come in, uh, like if I get a uh, if I get a flight stand and I have to pick it out of all of its little Christmas tree pattern thing, I uh, you know all that stuff you have left over is called slag here in America. Just that way. So he's a more of a tough guy to transform, but that's because he's got less metal in him than the others. And uh, that does make it, you know, he will be an easier guy to stand up because he won't have so much metal. But sometimes, sometimes, his sides don't want to do anything. You've got to move up the sides first before transforming anything else about him. That way you don't cause any problems. There it goes. Okay. Now that that piece is removed, we can then rotate that piece down. And I did like how the uh, I didn't like how the re the eighty six Grimlock used the same transformation for G one Grimlock because I thought Dream one Grimlock's transformation was kind of crap. This guy, on the other hand, I thought his transformation was kind of fun. And uh, come on, come on, man! I can't have you having this weird phallic object there. You you need a you need a split in half there. He's not wanting to split in half. Why aren't you splitting in half here, man? What's going on here? You you, you did this last year. I transformed you last. This thing splits in half. I swear to you, it does. Unless I'm wrong, I could I could be wrong because I I I know that I've screwed things up in the past. It doesn't split in half. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm completely wrong. I have screwed this up in the past. So let's go ahead and lower that piece down. Maybe? How are you supposed to... Oh! 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 Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to close those legs up real quick. I see what I did wrong. That's supposed to go back there. Ah! You see? You see, if you put it... You put it in the front here, and you close those legs down. Um... You make him X-rated, and you don't want that. You know, this is this is the Dinobot that, uh, well, you know, he can get in the movies. Not in the movies that you want to tell your grandparents about, but, you know, he can get into some movies for that with that. That's for sure. Let's go ahead and rotate that to his back area. So it's not sticking out the front. And then we're going to move these legs up like that and that. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Yes, now we're cooking with gasoline. Pro tip, don't cook with gasoline, it's explosive. Uh, but, if you're wanting to make some explosive hot wings. Okay, so let's, uh, let's pull out his little hands. His other hand is stuck, it doesn't want to come out. There we go. Ah! Did, I, no, you weren't supposed to just kind of halfway collapse when I put you down on the ground, you silly thing. Okay, there we go. Yeah. That is Slag. Slug, as he's called today. That is all the Dinobots plus Megatron. A very nice little collection. I, to this very day, still love Snarl. He's got, in my opinion, the most interesting and unique transformation. And uh, the Megatron, I just did because I, I, I found him whenever I was looking for the rest of the Dinobots. And I went, you know, I should just talk about Megatron. Megatron's just such a weird transformer, and the fact that you know, it's illegal to sell him in America is even cooler, in my opinion. Uh, it's a very, very unique one, and uh, 
I am very happy that happenstance put him into uh, my collection. But I've blathered on long enough today about Transformers, so I will leave you off here now and I'll let you get back to doing other things like possibly trying to find some more information on Deadpool 3 or to see if Dragonfly has announced that third tier yet. You know, there's all sorts of things going on right now. Um, but I know that I've got to get on to the rest of my day and post this video. So thank you so much for being here with me today and watching as I've transformed a few G1 Transformers. And also let me know if you want me to do a blindformers video on these Transformers, and I totally will. I'll do a verbal explanation on how to transform them so that if you're visually impaired or blind or just would like to uh, have somebody explain it to you so you don't accidentally break something, then let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and please tune in uh, tomorrow where we'll be turn we'll be covering Nitrous Prime from the Velocitron series. So can't wait to get into that with you. And until next time, I've been Blind Prime, and uh, this sleepy orange thing over here has been Cream the Cat. Yeah. Bye bye for now.